I'm a 75 year old farmer uh, here in central Arizona. I've uh, been farming at this location uh, for about 50 years. Uh, but my first remembrance of this farm was uh, when I was five years old, my dad moved here uh, from our our grandfather's place about eight miles away. And so he, he bought this uh, piece of land and those old trees behind me over here, uh, I still remember them as being about that big when I was uh, five years old. So that was 70 years ago. Here in Arizona, we're, we're farming, uh, I gosh, I think about 5,000 acres now. And I have to scratch my head a little bit because when you have a lot of urbanization going on, it's a kind of a moving target from year to year. <laughs> Some days you're not sure how many acres you are farming because uh, virtually all of this land this close in is on very short-term leases. I mean, most of them are just a year to year lease and, uh, and they have, all have cancellation clauses in them. So uh, you know that the uh, the owners of it are looking forward to having a bigger payday than renting it out to some farmer. <laughs> An interesting thing that people don't think about uh, very often is uh, sometimes I'm asked, you know, well, why do you grow the crops that you grow with uh, these commodity crops like uh, alfalfa, cotton, and wheat? And the main reason is that this location and this, this water quality, uh, this water has high salinity. Uh, and it's uh, three to four times the salinity of the Central Arizona project water that comes from the Colorado River. And the, the Salt River project water to the east of us in Phoenix uh, is probably even better. Uh, at this location, the water table stands at about 30 feet and uh, the aquifer is very large and it's basically the same depth as it was when my dad bought this farm in 1946. So. Very few people applying for jobs, that's for sure. <laughs> but we have a year-round labor force here. We have about 25 guys that work for us, and uh, we keep them on the payroll year-round. Sometimes we have to find things for them to do in the winter, but uh, as a matter of fact, we're pushing hard right now to complete uh, this last little bit of wheat that we're trying to get planted. We uh, picked up some new ground, and. Uh, so we didn't have it worked into our system yet. We probably won't get it all worked in in one year, but it's one thing about cotton business, you know, we, uh, like farmers elsewhere, you know, we band together to do things in a cooperative effort. We have a, a cotton gin uh, and the president of uh, in Buckeye, and we uh, have 12 growers that uh, we've been at it since 1981 at that location that little bit of infrastructure is really needed and there used to be six cotton gins just in that Buckeye area to handle cotton growing around here now they're just ours and one other. <laughs>